Hi everyone! Oh, I'm so glad you came back to another video with me, Adrian Lee, the Wandering Art Historian. Thank you so much for joining me with uh, as we go through this web series, Art Snacks. I mean, come on, delicious morsels of art historical goodness? Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, what are we chatting about today? Did you expect to see that? Probably not. Okay, we're going to talk about this and you're going to have to uh, ponder this one for a while, but this is a work of art by Marcel Luchon and you should know that he is my art historical boyfriend. I have such a crush on this guy. Um, it's never going to work though because he's dead and I'm married, but I want you to look at this particular piece of art and yes, I am calling it art because did you know that Marcel Duchamp submitted this object to an art exhibition as a work of art? Yeah, yeah, he totally did it. He totally did it. So here's what's going on, okay? This particular artwork he titled Fountain, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, and it was created in 1917. He did not sign his own name to it, as you can see, but signed R. Mutt. So he kind of did it, he submitted it, submitted it to an art exhibition in a very sneaky, undercover, anonymous way. And he did it for a very specific reason. He wanted to test the boundaries of the art exhibition. What do I mean by that? Okay, so the Society of Independent Artists was a group that formed in the United States around 1917 and Marcel Duchamp belonged to this group and this was a group of artists that were like art is amazing and you can do whatever you want with art and we got to start experimenting and we got to take art from outside the box and all this kind of great stuff, right? Fantastic. Well, Duchamp wanted to put this idea to the test, okay? And he says, oh, really? So the artist creates art and the artist decides what is art and then you will accept it as art, right? Right? What do you think happened? What do you think happened when Marcel Duchamp sneakily submitted this to the art show hosted by the Society of Independent Artists who said we should be experimenting and going crazy and blah, they freaked out is what happened. They freaked out. Um, they, uh, we don't exactly know what happened to the final product because there's an urban legend that it was mysteriously broken between the submission time and the exhibition itself. Convenient, if you ask me. But what's so cool about this particular piece of artwork is that for Marcel Duchamp, this was what he called a ready-made, a ready-made, because it was artwork that was already made. And he was trying to prove the point that it's the artist who decides what is art. And he said, if I see this object and to me there is a practical or some other sort of beauty to it and I want to turn it on its side and I'm going to sign it R. Mutt, then I'm the artist and I get to decide what art is. So I am calling this fountain. That's pretty cool. You, you see why I have such a crush on this guy? <laughs> Don't get me started. Thank you for joining me for this delectable little art snack. I hope you will ponder it throughout the rest of your day. For more fabulous content like this, please check out my blog, thewanderingarthistorian.wordpress.com. If you like this video, hit like. If you have something to say, leave a comment and definitely share this video with other art enthusiasts that you know might appreciate it. And of course, if you can, please subscribe to the Wandering Art Historian YouTube channel.
Thank you so much for joining me. I love our art snack time together. It, it, it lifts me up. I hope it lifts you up too. My name is Adrian Lee. I'm the wandering, wandering art historian. I'll see you next time. Bye.